In this video, we're going to look at example two in section 5.3 on integration by parts. All right, so here we're going to try to identify a u and a dv in this integral. So we want to choose our u so that when we take the du, it becomes simpler. So let's note if ln of x is our u, then the du is just going to become 1 over x. So that should simplify things. So let's go ahead and try that. So let's let u equal ln of x and then dv equal x dx. So we're going to let u equal ln of x. dv is going to be equal to x dx. All right, so now we need our v and our du. So derivative of ln is 1 over x dx. Our antiderivative of x is x squared over 2 using that reverse power rule. So now integration by, by parts tells us that the integral of u dv is equal to u times v minus the integral of v du. So let's work that out for us. That means our integral u dv is equal to v times u, or u times v, multiplication is commutative, x squared over two, not too bad so far, minus the integral now of v du. So the integral of x squared over two times one over x dx. All right, this is looking pretty good. All right, so now let's clean up and simplify before we take that antiderivative. So we have ln of x, x squared over 2, minus, so I get one of my x's to cancel with my x in the denominator. So, and I can bring that 1 half out. So I have 1 half the integral of x dx. So now all I need to do is find the antiderivative of x, which we know how to do. So that just becomes then ln of x times x squared over 2 minus 1 half antiderivative of x is just going to be x squared over 2 plus c using that reverse power rule. So now simplifying, simplifying and cleaning this up, I get ln of x times x squared over 2 minus x squared over 4 plus c. So we could multiply that negative one half into the c, but then it just becomes a new constant. So I can just call it c still. Okay, so there is our integral.